The only way to succeed now is to be completely transparent, completely. Everything is exposed, everything you do. So your legacy is your ultimate life. It's all you've got. And you can build so much on that. When you have brand equity, anything can happen. I leveraged my brand equity to get more exposure for Please Dress Me, the t-shirt search engine. It got covered in a lot of places. That was my brand equity. If tomorrow Zucks launches a new social network and there's beta, you want in. Don't lie. That's brand equity. You gotta think about that. Plus, what's very imperative to me right now is using the tools. Way too many people are trying to figure out which tools should I use? Should I use Twitter? Should I use Pound? Should I use Jaiku? Should, you know, which tools should I use? All of them. Your user base and the people that care about you, you need to connect to them any way you can, everywhere you can, as often as you can. That is essential, that interaction. We're humans, we like, you know, look at reality TV. That's about as real as, pff, that shit is not real. But we still like it, because it's somewhat real. This other stuff is very real. The place where we play is very real, and it's a massive, massive opportunity. I hope people wrap their head around that, because we are going through a gold rush of branding. In the old days, to become a brand, you needed a lot of mainstream media attention. But now, if you get talked about enough in all these social webs, blogs, you can get there. You can build your brand, your company's brand. But it all starts with that first moment when you look in the mirror. First moment, what do I, shit. What do I, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I'm so hot on that. So many people will kill it if they do. And I don't care how small your niche is. For example, I'm killing it with wine video, right? You don't want to compete with me. None of you. But, I'm serious. But, (laughs) but, there is an absolute opportunity for somebody to come out with the Pinot Grigio hour. I'm serious. Niches can go crazy. If you love sports, you could do that. Where is Sports Center? I would watch that all day. Two people doing Sports Center every day. There's so many video blog opportunities. It shocks me that there aren't bigger opportunities, bigger people doing it. They're coming, but you have to understand we're in a gold rush. Somebody's gonna get it and you're not gonna have a shot. So if you have a feel, if you wanna do it, I don't wanna hear about this nine to five bullshit. What's that? You quit? (laughs) I quit, nice. Um, I don't wanna hear about this two job, job thing, right? Nine to five, I don't have time. If you want this, if you're miserable or if you don't like it or you wanna do something else and you have a passion somewhere else, work nine to five, spend a couple hours with your family, seven to two in the morning is plenty of time to do damage. But that's it. It's not gonna happen any other way. You're not gonna make stickers and give out swag and everybody's gonna give a shit about your site. I got wristbands. That is the key. (laughs) Patience. There's a site that I'm very fascinated with. I'm in like with you. I think about it all the time actually, randomly. It's a site that I believe should be a killer. Video, you know, gaming is just so on the verge of exploding. The guy, Charles, he's got it. He's got that it factor. He's a little bit of a douchebag, but he's got it, <laughs> right? And he loves being a douchebag. He's just, he is so authentic, I love him for that. He's who he is, and he's hustling, and he's trying, and I'm telling you, if he's patient enough, and if the right moment strikes, that site is gonna be huge, and there's so many sites out there that are obvious to me, and too many people giving up. There's so many people giving up, because they don't believe, and or, and please stop doing this, by the way, while I'm at it. Don't come out and say, well, we're the Facebook plus Dig minus Flickr and Delicious on the flip side. That's horseshit. Do what you're about. Please. I'm done. <laughs>